For those of you who love horses and want to work outdoors and be your own boss, you may want to consider a career as a certified farrier. It's hard work, but very rewarding. One of the most highly recognized schools in the United States is right here in Villanelle, Georgia, owned and operated by Ralph Casey since 1989. The Casey and Son Horseshoeing School has received the Horseshoeing School of the Year Award for over eight years. With Casey as your head instructor, you will receive the most up-to-date training in farrier science that is not available at any other school. We try to make it as simple as possible in the teaching process and really we try to teach, there's just six basic steps we teach here uh, to shoe a sound horse and that's really what we go over for the whole course in six and twelve weeks. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean you learn more, uh, there's no the stress ain't there. They let you go at your own pace and if you need extra attention, they give it to you. I looked up a couple of schools in this area and this was the best one because I think doing everything practical helps you do more than you know sitting in the class just looking at books the whole time. Uh, everyone's nice, um, made you feel right at home even when you came to visit as well as your first day here and on and really enjoyed my time here so far. Well I first started looking for a school I was looking on the internet to where I found the school and from my opinion it's the best one in the country so that's why I came here. Here's the foot uh, that's actually shod with the, with the full fitted shoe. And you'll notice on there that the heat pattern is all the way around the corium, not just coming down at the toe. It's actually going all the way around the hoof. And that's what we see on a well-supported hoof is the fact that that blood flow is evenly from the coronary band and coming all the way down throughout the lamini, not just one strip. We're looking at is we're taking the thermal images with the shoe uh, on we're taking the thermal images right now of the offside hind after the horse has been run and the right hind is showing a whole lot of inflammation all the way across and when you look down at the toe it's even hotter down towards the toe so now when we go over to the foot with the normal fit let me get a focus on it what we see there is we see a very normal heat pattern uh, beautiful heat pattern coming off the coronary band going into the corium but we also see a lot more heat in that particular leg and that would be something that would concern me if, as a horse owner it would concern me that the horse's weight is being borne unevenly which obviously with the shoe and the short shoeing it probably is oh, he's hot all the way into the pasture he's up there on that toe is that incredible All right. Okay. okay, what we've got here is we happen to have an image where we can get both back feet and see them at the coronary bands. 
and we have a very even thermal pattern coming off the coronary band on the short on the foot that's short shod. The left front. Okay, whatever. Anyway, on the offside hind foot where it's short where it's short shod, we have a lot of heat at the toe, but we also have a ton of heat at the heel. Whereas on the other foot right now, we're looking at a nice even thermal pattern, but we're also seeing more heat in that leg. And that kind of leads me to believe that it's starting to bear more weight over there because of the way it's coming down and the way its stride has been changed. What we found out, or what we saw in the thermal imaging, was that his foot heated up really, I mean, it got really hot really quick in the heel area uh, on the foot that was short shot. The toe got really hot coming down at the tip, but there wasn't the nice even flow that we would see on the other foot. And the other thing was is he got really hot in the pastern area really fast, and the other, the other leg heated up quicker, or didn't heat up quicker, the other leg heated up evenly, but started bearing more weight and carrying more heat towards it on the overall bony column. Hey gang, I'm Ralph Casey. And I'm Link Casey. You know, as the owner of a farrier school, we get hundreds of letters for individuals that would like to see what everything, what goes on here. And plus at the research center, for the first time we're offering a free DVD just for the asking that tours not only the school, but the research center. And hey, remember, it's free. It is, it's free, it's me. <laughs>